American people, it's time to wake up. Attributed to, if it is not his, it is appropriate. Colonel Edward Mandel House, sent by the powers that rule the democracy commercial government, form England, worked with and controlled all the presidents from Woodrow Wilson through Franklin Delano Roosevelt in establishing all that the American people are reaping by slavery. Had this private meeting with Woodrow Wilson, 1913 through 1921, and stated, Very soon, every American will be required to register their biological property in a national system designed to keep track of the people, and that will operate under the ancient system of pledging. By such methodology, we can compel people to submit to our agenda, which will affect our security as a chargeback for our fiat paper currency. Every American will be forced to register or suffer being able to work and earn a living. They will be our chattel, and we will hold the security interest over them forever by operation of the law merchant under the scheme of secured transactions. Americans, by unknowingly or unwittingly delivering the bill of lading to us, will be rendered bankrupt and insolvent, forever to remain economic slaves through taxation, secured by their pledges, they will be stripped of their rights and given a commercial value designed to make us a profit. And they will be none the wiser, for not one man in a million could ever figure out our plans, and if by accident one or two should figure it out, we have in our arsenal plausible deniability. After all, this is the only logical way to fund government, by floating liens and debt to the registrants in the form of benefits and privileges. This will inevitably reap to us a huge profit, or profits, beyond our wildest expectations and leave every American a contributor to this fraud, which we will call social insurance. Without realizing it, every American will insure us for any loss we may incur, and in this manner, every American will unknowingly be our servant, however begrudgingly. The people will become helpless and without any hope for their redemption, and we will employ the high office of the president of our dummy corporation to foment this plot against America. A word of warning, there have been many and various people who have used the site drafts and they and there have been many and various people who have been tried by the courts and are now in prison. Site drafts, or CMOSs, create debt. And the only debt creator is the Federal Reserve Board Bank. Okay? The UCC gives the Federal Reserve Board wide latitude in making a determination whether an instrument is fraudulent, or legal. A sovereign, okay, cannot create debt. It is his or her energy that creates payment for the debt created by the Federal Reserve Board Bank and all their corporations. Stay with the Acceptance for Value program. Not one living soul has ever been arrested in history for use and implementation. Reduce the debt. Learn the Acceptance for Value and Affidavit Denial Corporation existence and uh, uh, protect yourself, the living soul, in the corporate commerce, uh, commerce world. Registered mail number and stamp with your sign uh, signed over the stamp. Um, this is the law of the flags, understanding the flags. The law of the flags and international law, which is organized by every nation of the planet, is defined as a rule to the effect that a vessel is part of a territory of the nation whose flag she flies. 
The term is used to uh, designate the right under which a ship owner who sends his vessel into a foreign port gives notice by his flag to all who enter into contract with the ship master that he intends the law of the flag to regulate those contracts and that they must either submit to its operations or not contract with him or his agent at all. Ru Rustrat versus People, 57 NE41. Registration. When you register yourself, you record formally and exactly in a list or the like with a register. A registrar is an officer who has the custody and charge of keeping of a registry or register. What really is a registry? Generally, a registry applies to vessels and foreign commerce. When we register ourselves, we have re, uh, recreated ourselves as a vessel in foreign commerce. Flag. Everything moving in commerce is a vessel. Spaceships, satellites, seagoing ships, planes, buses, automobiles, the mails, persons, and, believe it or not, contracts. Just as a ship must fly a flag to designate its nationality laws of contract, your paperwork needs to display a flag in order to establish who you are and what law you will use to contract. Stamp. All vessels charge a freight fee to deliver their cargo. Likewise, we must pay a freight fee as the authority to deliver our cargo, i.e. the paperwork we send needs to have a stamp on it. The paper is the vessel. The words are the cargo. The flag designates uh, the law and the stamp shows that we have paid the fee to deliver our cargo. Place the colored flag in the upper left hand corner as you are looking at the page. The bonnie blue is what I use and Place a dollar stamp in the upper right hand corner. Write your autograph over the stamp to cancel it, thus making you the postmaster. Whatever flag you choose to use, remember not to use a gold fringe flag as that is under their jurisdiction and not your uh, common law jurisdiction. Registered. Using registered mail to identify your vessel, this places your document vessel into international law and gives it recognition in international commerce. This is another assertion that you are in fact foreign to the jurisdiction they are trying to place you under. This number now becomes the case number for any and all paperwork related to the first document sent. Jolly Roger. If you come up, uh, if you come upon a flag, that is not recognized in international law, it is a pirate flag. Anything attached to a Title IV USC 1-2 flag, i.e. gold fringe, uh, mutilates the flag and under Title IV USC 3 carries a one-year prison term. The gold fringe is an added color and represents color of law. When placed upon the Title IV USC flag, the fringe is a mutilation. It suspends the Constitution and establishes color of law. The gold fringe flag that utilizes color of law and uh, port portends, I think it's supposed to say pretends, pretends to be the American flag is not the American flag of peace. It is a pirate flag. And it is your warning as to whom, what you are about to do business with. Army Regulations 260-10 states that the gold fringe may be used only on regimental colors, the president's flag, for a military courts uh, marshal, and for the flags used at military recruiting centers. So why is it that we're seeing those gold fringe flags everywhere else as well when it's clearly designated the only places they're allowed to fly them courts the flag in the court is the court advertisement of the law governing their contracts if you do not wish to contract with these courts then jurisdiction must be challenged in order to correctly challenge jurisdiction you must remember uh, Gertie versus Logan six Bush Kentucky eight which states 
It is an elementary rule of pleading that a plea to the jurisdiction is a tacit admission that the court has a right to judge in the case and is a waiver to all exceptions to the jurisdiction, which means that if you plea, you have waived your rights to challenge jurisdiction, and when the judge attempts to enter a plea for you and says that the state statutes allow him to do so, tell him no, that he cannot practice law from the bench, and that he is not your attorney, and you do not give him permission to act on your behalf. Read the courts by contract section in this uh, manual for further information. The next one we'll be uh, talking about is the U.S. Postal Service or the Post Office. All right, and we'll be talking to you later on this morning about that. And we're just going to keep cramming and jamming this information down you guys' throats until you finally found your proverbial testicles and stand up and sound off like you got a pair. I put myself in harm's way all the time going into these courts. All the time. For other people, I travel different states, I see different fucking alleged judges, I just don't give a shit. My give a shitter has been broken. Alright? My altimeter no longer reads and I am now flying by sight and sight alone through turbulence, through clouds, through all the bullshit, and I fly strictly on faith alone. And the fact that I know the law, the law is so simple. Bear not false witness against your fellow brothers and sisters. It's so simple. It's so fucking simple. My 11-year-old daughter comprehends it because if she didn't, I'd tan her ass. And it's about time we start tanning these people's asses. It's time. It's been long overdue. We need to go back to the 70s, dazed and confused, making paddles in the wood shop and spanking some asses. And we're not trying to kill them, but they need a good lesson. They need a hot and heavy spanking. And how do you spank these fucking cretins without physically assaulting them? You hit them in the fucking pocketbook. Lord knows I'd like to jack their jaw, but that ain't the way that we're going to get our remedy. The way we're going to get our remedy is taking their fucking house they thought they owned. Yep, that one's mine. See ya, fucker. Oh, is that pop can you think that you kick down the street that has no value? That's my nickel. Thank you. Don't destroy my property anymore. Don't. In fact, don't touch anything around this community anymore. You should probably move along. Maybe go back to England, you know, since you pledged yourself to be uh, 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 an employee of a foreign entity. You go back over there with those people, right? Let's get, let's get rid of them. Let's put them on Epstein Island and leave them over there with a bottle of wine and a violin and maybe a small ball of cheese. And let them fucking cry their salty ass tears for the bullshit that they pushed on the people, not just of America, but around the world. This is global. It's huge. Astronomical. And it's so fucking big, many, many people will never be able to wrap their head around it. Uh, I'm very fortunate to have the eyes to see and the ears to hear only because what I've been subjected to in my life. Um, I'm very thankful and humbled by the community that helped raise me, my family, um, how receptive they were for me pushing away from the system at such a young age, and they still supported me. Uh, and that means a lot to me. So I try to become more humble. My old man keeps cracking the whip at me, going, man, you got to tone it down a little bit. Um, I get it. You're passionate. I love the fact you're, pa you're passionate about something. I think it's cool. Uh, but again... You got to tone it down quit calling people fucking morons. You're not helping them out by degrading them. So I will work harder on not humiliating people that haven't reached it yet. In the Bible, it says that there's only uh, um, 12,000 or 144 tribes of 12,000 people apiece. Well, you start thinking about this. There's 7 billion plus people in the world. 144 tribes of 12,000 people apiece, that's not even 1% of the world's population that's going to comprehend what the hell I'm telling you guys about. So if you're able to pick it up, if you're able to retain the knowledge, if you're able to receive what I'm saying, uh, I just ask that you do your own due diligence. Nobody here is trying to force you to do a damn thing. It's the last thing I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to help you open Pandora's box because once you see one little white lie, once you see one of them for yourself, you'll start researching this shit. And as you delve into it, 
you will go through the seven stages of denial, undoubtedly, because nobody wants to believe that their beloved government, for which they pledged an allegiance to a piece of cloth, lied to them. And they've been deceived at the highest levels. It's uh, astronomical, astronomical, this lie that's been pressed upon us. I know why Jesus was in the synagogues turning over the tables. I know without question what a court is now. It's a synagogue. And we need to go in there and turn over them fucking tables. I know why Jesus did what he did. Because they were uh, desecrating and defiling his father's house, which was supposed to be used for the administration of grace in the interest of justice. And they've perverted it so badly that uh, if he was alive today, I have no doubt that these judges would be on their knees getting their asses whipped by Jesus himself because they're, they're, it's absolutely egregious what they're doing. But until we start to stand up and unify and really hit them where it hurts, uh, you're not going to see a change in the system, guys. You can sling lead all fucking day long. There's a thousand Agent Smiths born every fucking day. Um, and, and in 18 years, they'll have a gun and a badge and be running around saying, respect my authority, which is a bunch of bullshit, too. I mean, I'm a man, you're a man. A group of men doesn't give you the right to run over me, and I don't have a group of men that gives me the right to run over you. My rights stop where yours begin and vice fucking versa. So long as I've never harmed you, you have no fucking business with me. And trust me, if I've harmed you, I'll be the first one to try and provide remedy like that. I don't, I don't fuck around. I don't wait around. I'm not a heathen. I'm not without God. Uh, I understand shame and humility. And when I fuck up, I do my best to make it right immediately. So there is no controversy. So there is no cause for illegal action, okay? Um, with that said, I'm going to let you guys go. My eyes are getting heavier and heavier by the minute. But as I keep, once I start reading, I can't stop. It's just one of them fucking things. I'm addicted to this shit. Um, because mankind needs more men and women awake. Needs more lions at the front line ripping, clawing, and, and, and digging at this fucking shit um, and p putting these facts on record and using them. So I appreciate all you guys. Again, you can help by joining selfgovernanceu.com. Uh, I got a class coming up. You can help donate there. We have a 24-hour a day, seven-day-a-week Zoom call going on. It's been going on for like 45 days, 46 days now. Absolutely uh, uh, brilliant. Uh, the people that have come on there... Uh, just the way that they look at things. There are so many ways to skin this cat. It's just so nice to have a, a group of very well-rounded researchers that drop in and drop their knowledge and their first-hand experiences and what they're doing and how it's working and explaining the mechanism that, that, that causes them to be successful. And uh, so we are very grateful for each and every one of you for joining us. So make sure to check out the free Zoom call, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's now currently going for 45 or 46 days, maybe even 47 now. I lose track of time because really time is nothing more than a theory. It's it's what they base their contracts off of, but there is no such thing as time. Just like the theory of relativity, there's no such thing. It's a theory, and a theory only stands true in fact and law until somebody else like Derek comes along and goes, fuck your theory, I got a better one. And everybody goes, hmm, that guy's pretty sharp. We like his theory. So now the theory of relativity is, poof, it's gone because now it's the Gonzalez theory. And the Gonzalez theory seems to resonate with all our minds. So it should be done. That's what it is. It's now the Gonzalez theory. It's no longer the theory of relativity. It's the Gonzalez theory because, well, you know, it sounds better or it looks better or it's more probable than the theory of relativity, right? Or the theory of gravity or the theory of oxygen or the theory of, you know, I could go on and on and on and on. But uh, the system has designed everybody to think that a man, such as myself, speaking to you so frankly is batshit crazy. Well, I invite you to open up Pandora's box and just find out how crazy I am. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for your support. Look forward to seeing you guys on the 17th. Um, when I come back, we're going to cover the U.S. Postal Service or the post office. All right. And uh, we're going to talk about... You know, in the class coming up, we're going to talk about how to remove the lot, block, parcel ID number, zone improvement project number, and address from your dwelling. And now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a task in and of itself 
But when you execute it properly and somebody tries to foreclose, you just walk in there and hand them the keys to the P.O. box. There you go. It's all yours, baby. I ain't even here to argue. You guys have a nice motherfucking day. Cheers. Cheerio. Chap, I'm out. Hand them the keys to the P.O. box because it's got the lot block parcel ID number, zone improvement project number, and address. Just like that. You can foreclose on it all day long. You get a box this big, and now you can go sell that box at auction. Because you're not getting my property, you're not getting my real estate, and you're not getting my fucking land. It's that simple. And if you stick to the program, I'm here to tell you, it works. So everybody's out here trying to reinvent the fucking wheel, and the people that are showing me this shit uh, have executed it time and time and time again. And they said, Derek, so long as you don't grow a fucking brain, because your brilliant ass wants to grow a brain all the time and try new shit, so long as you don't fuck up our program here, this will work for you. Not some of the time, not part of the time, every fucking time. Okay? And then not only that, I'm going to give you a plethora of information that you can ram down these motherfuckers' throat and choke them with it to the point where they wave that big white flag I surrender. I surrender, master. That's right. You got it right. Master, I like that. I like when you call me Big Papa, right? And you're going to make them surrender to you under your terms, under your conditions, because now you can prove that you're the beneficiary. You're the true grantee, all right? Once the, once the owner's been established, once the beneficiaries come forward, now all those securities, all those interests generated come right back to you. And it's really not fucking rocket scientists, uh, or rocket science, excuse me. It's really not that fucking hard. Um, I made it complicated in the beginning, very, very complicated. Oh, this case, this this code, this statute, this code, that this that 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 ooh that ooh, ooh piece of candy. I made it way too fucking hard, and it's not that hard. It really is not that hard. Who's the man claiming they have interest, superior interest in my property? We're also going to cover. Ag liens, why you should put an ag lien on your property, why you should do an acknowledgement and acceptance of the warranty deed, okay, and become grantee absolute and file it on the fucking record. And you can do a quiet title or a quick claim deed and fire the trustee from the bank and turn around and appoint a new trustee. And all of a sudden, abra fucking cadabra, it's like magic, hocus pocus. <laughs> All the reversionary interest comes back to you, including all the payments you ever made to a bank who wasn't the holder in due course of the note, who has been paid not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, but five motherfucking times that I can prove. I can prove that. Five times. No less than five. And it may be more than that. So, anyway, we look forward to having you at the class, knowing that foreclosures are coming up. Um, it, it, it's going to start off... It's going to be kind of a mixture of things between land patent and we'll see how it goes. Maybe I should, everybody's saying, oh, you should just focus on one topic, Derek, because you're going to turn around and dump all this on people and they are just going to go, ooh, what do I do? But at the same time, I could die tomorrow, so I don't want to die with this knowledge in my head. I want to get it to you guys so you can use it and you can report back to me on what you're seeing as the results of it. Um... And we can help each other. Because, quite frankly, everything they're fucking doing is stealing under the guise that they're working as a trustee for the beneficiary's behalf, which they don't know who the beneficiary is. It's, it's just struck them. They just, they just don't know. Also, the importance of getting a receipt. And if you haven't got a receipt at your closing or before closing for your negotiable instrument, your over-the-counter security, then you can still go get a receipt. So don't fucking be waiting around. Write the son of a bitch up. Go in there. Have them sign off on it. Take that son of a bitch back out. Put it on a record. Demand that they give you a letter of satisfaction because you engaged in even exchange and fair trade and they sold your note at a discounted rate, which is not the, Don't bother me none until I prove that I'm a grantee. And once I prove that I'm a grantee, then I demand and compel their performance to go get my note back. And when they tell me they can't get my note back, and they owe me the derivatives and dividends month after month after month on those securities for the purpose of ensuring that if anybody ever comes forward with, as the holder in due course of that note, I can make sure to go. There's your credits on account. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business with you. And I'll take that note back from you. Thank you. And I'll put that motherfucker in the shredder. 
right down the fucking toilet. Why? Because anybody that holds that note, anybody that has it, can now compel you to perform. Whew. That's a lot. That's a mouthful. I look forward to seeing you guys uh, in class um, April 17th, 2021, 1 p.m. Central Time. Um, bring your popcorn. Pack a lunch. It's going to be hard hitting. It's going to be a long fucking class. Make sure to get well rested Friday night. Don't be out there boozing and thinking you're going to catch 90% of what I'm preaching and teaching come uh, Saturday afternoon. If, you're, if, if, you don't, if you don't bring your A game, you're going to lose. You're going to miss out on a lot of very, very, very important information. So look forward to seeing you guys uh, Saturday the 17th, 1 p.m. Uh, on April 17th, 2021.